Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Summoning. Once again, I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias, your host for today, and I am joined by Ari. How are you doing, Ari? I am doing good. I had, like, a quart of noodles for breakfast. I got <laughs> my quart. water with me. It's going to be fighting games, Valorant. I'm, uh, I'm having a good day so far. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, we're going to be holding down the Valorant casting, but that's not all we have here today at the Summoning. Today, we are summoning all the players from all around, from all walks of life for almost every single game. Maybe not as many esports titles as you're used to, though, but we have the fighting game titles. We have Su Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We have Super Smash Brothers Melee. We have Tekken 8. We have Street Fighter 6. We have Valorant. We have a Warhammer 40k tournament. We have Magic the Gathering. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! We have Pokemon TCG. We have Disney Lorcana. And we also have a Bean Bag Toss event. We have even oh, yeah, more. Cool. And we also have One Piece card game, a personal favorite of mine something i've been playing recently mm -hmm. but a lot of things in store i think you can still enter things are going to be happening uh, uh, throughout the day so if you're a local if you're tuning in right now try and stop by you know we got a lot of pricing in store as you can see over ten thousand dollars in pricing that is a lot of money definitely more money than i've ever seen <laughs> can i be honest about something i've never seen one piece that's fair um i just know a couple of the characters but did they find it yet? All I know is that no, the but One we're, Piece exists we're getting there. and they're looking for it. We got some hints of where it could be. We don't know what it is, hmm. but we're going to get there someday. We'll find it. Maybe we'll yeah. find it today. Maybe it's part of the $10,000 You pricing. know what? Yeah, that would be funny. Maybe the One Piece is in the prizing. That would be great. But Maybe a lot of people say the One Piece is the friends we made along the way. True. And to spin this back to Valorant... It looks like it's a lot of friendly teams here today. We have a lot of local teams coming through, as you'll see with some of the names we have here in store. We've got a lot of good teams as well. But it's going to be, I think, three rounds of round robin, and then we're going to have a semifinals and then a grand finals to end things off. And they are going to be best of ones in the round robin with the point score increasing the semis and grants yeah and i think the uh semis will be but and the finals will be best of three right yes yes right. that is correct yeah so far all i know is that the team names are a bit silly yeah uh, i think the, the first mickey mouse clubhouse and the gangy as our first game that's gonna be fun yeah mickey mouse clubhouse is a, a interesting team i wonder if their names will match it'll be like donald goofy that would be funny. mickey pluto <laughs> The dog is playing. Yeah, the dog. <laughs> yeah. You know, I never I never thought that Mickey Mouse characters would be um avid gamers, but you know, if you had to guess, what what would be like the average rank? Average of the, rank of, of oh, the Mickey mortal. Mouse Clubhouse. Immortal, I think. Mm. I'd have to give Immortal because I've seen Kingdom Hearts, Donald, Goofy, Mickey, they're oh, true. just top. Donald tier. Duck is radiant. Donald Duck is like an insane power scaler. He's the most powerful character in the Final Fantasy Extended Universe. Mm. He can cast Zeta Flare, which is an absolutely devastating move. But moving on from that, <laughs> we also have Gangy, and you can see that Gang's all here and all raring to go. And just based on the names alone, who are you gonna give this to? Who do you think's gonna win? It's it's tough because on one hand you have the gang, and when you have the gang, it's like you're <laughs> the gang's all here. Exactly, the gang is all here. You're locked in. You're here to win. Even if it is a best of one, doesn't matter. You, you, you know, you do your best. But then, you, I mean, if you want to call it that, I think the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse will also be a gang in its, its own true. way. They're club. They're, yeah. But it's like, if you want to get technical about it, you know? The point <laughs> is, like, the synergy is there. The synergy is and there. And if what you said uh, about the names, you know, matching up comes true, then, like, that's just a power move. I don't know. I think my money will be on uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse at the moment. Yeah, I think I'll give it to them as well. They're going to be singing hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, as we're going to be getting in very, very soon. And just to go over the general Valorant info, how's the meta shaping up recently? Oh, the uh... I'm not sure exactly how long it's been, but uh, after, it's like some time ago, Sky got nerfed because she was very strong. Um, and so they switched it up for Gecko. But uh, as I say that, we, we are getting Sky into the Agent Select. Vine is going to be our first map. I do see a Sky on the side of the gangy. 
as I was just talking. No gecko so far, but I do see the Yoru for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which is cool. I think that's an interesting pick. That is. I haven't seen a Yoru bind as of recently in a, bit, in a bit. Yeah, just running through the team names, we have the gangy lineup being Ant, Cutty, Cloud, Doomsy, and Rohu. And on the side of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, we have Quester, Coma, Fox Style, High Rise, and Maka. And it looks like Sky is going to be the pick for Initiator on this map, at least. And something I have haven't seen in quite a while is the chamber on the right right there fox style looking very interesting as that chamber and also the yoru interesting pick mm. honestly i can understand the chamber pick just because of the uh cypher utility gets broken easily by uh by ray's utility it's a good counter yeah, how do you feel about that? How do you think this is going to go in terms of who's going who's going to win the sentinel off? Oh, the sentinel off. Well, I think Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is starting. Bing, 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 bing. I have to give it over to the Cypher because they're going to get that util going hmm. a little bit faster than the Chamber. You know, Chamber can always right. play for post plant, but I always feel it's not as strong post plant. It's harder to get in that position That's fair. when you're on the defense, when you're on the offense, mm, trying true. to play defensively. Right, and also the Cypher utility doesn't have range. That's true. So That's true. you can just have it active anytime, anywhere. It does look like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to stack over towards that A site. Or, yeah, as I, I say that, they're going. rotating over. Oh, somebody's swapping in spawn. <laughs> Cypher will be setting up on that A, which is a good read just because it looks like the gangy are going to start on that heavy A, heavy A pressure just from both sides. Exactly. It looks like it's going to be an A rush from the gangy. And you can see Dooms, he's cracking his knuckles. He's ready, raring to go, ready for anything high rise, getting that combat stim, getting ready to turn. Bomb goes out, dog goes out as well. Dooms, he gets one tap with that frenzy there. And going to find one, looking for another. But wow, two go down on the side of Mickey Mouse, but two get answered right back by the gang. We're in a 3v3. So far, pretty even. The spike has not been planted yet, and as I say that, they are going to try to make that rotation over to spike B, but Ant in. does get the pick onto the spike carrier. Chamber trades it back with the sky. Ant gets the third in the round. And now it is it is a 1v2 for Mecca. Can they pull it off? It's going to be very, very tough. They have spike control as well. Mecca has no choice other than to go in here and try and rush this one down. Gets found up on the corner, and Ant takes him out with a 4K Ant. Not bad Starting things off hot for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Honestly, that was, that was very solid work from Ant and the rest of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I think our, our predictions are shaping up pretty well so far. So far. It was a pretty chaotic round at first, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The Brimstone could just close it out. That knife They may is, be an ant, but they're making monumental impact. That knife is mesmerizing. I just have to point that out. I yeah, love that new crumpet, <laughs> the light trail. Yeah, I think it came out recently. But yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's, I think very it's the newest pretty. one. Very nice. Everyone's running Karambits here. Mm. As we get back in, Cuddy going to cut this corner here with the Bulldog lining it up. Going to have to retreat, though, as there's just too many for him to try and make this one on. High rise, moving forward. Viper wall going up, Coma peeking around the corner, getting a nice TP into U-Haul. Very tough position here. Right, Gangy just putting a pause on the round. This utility is down, but they're not executing yet. As I say that, High Rise throwing the nade out. They're all jumping out of hookah, but Mickey Mouse Clubhouse responds accordingly, getting four, dominating the kill feed, just ending it out. Flawless round for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And I mean... <laughs> That's a great round. That's kind of how we expected it to go. They had a yeah, was major a weapon advantage, but with how they played it, they seemed a little unsure of themselves for a little bit. They played very cautiously. They yeah, didn't overextend. Yeah, what I noticed is that they didn't take a lot of time to in the round in general to get that uh, like any info or any other map control. They kind of just put all of their resources into B um, without kind of exploring their options, I guess. But so it, you just gotta play it simple sometimes, play it relaxed and yeah. play it cool. But now they have weapons in hand on the side of the gangy, so they're gonna move forward through bathroom. And peeking around the corner, gonna get flashed out, double flash, now in a really bad spot, but Ant finds one, looking for another, can't get it, come on high rise, get two. Now it's a three V four situation for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh, Cuddy getting caught on that flank by Fox. Fox TV? 
Doomsday swinging into shower, getting his one, but Maka trades it back, and now it is a 1v3 for the side of Roku, gets the first. Dinks the second, but cannot close it out. Maka living on 10 HP and getting the first round for the gangy. Absolutely crazy round right there. And now you can see when weapons are in hand, these teams are very, very evenly matched. It's just trades all around back and forth. So I'm excited to see how this round will go. Now that Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is on the back foot, will they be able to keep up with the gangy here? Honestly, it's doable. It's doable. I think I saw uh, the Gengi. There was one Spectre for their side, but mostly Vandals. And it looks like it is going to be a pretty even match. Rohu sending that flash down long for info. Does get the blind. And making contact in showers. Backing it up. Is supported by High Rise. Or Cloud, sorry. <laughs> High Rise is the attacker. Oops, wrong race. High good. Rise just slowing it down. Holding. They're waiting for something to happen. Wait far in that corner trying to get a ding trying to get a wall bang trying to find something it's just ce fox style cutting this corner pushing on to a here with this yoru cutty still in hookah holding next? strong there is the yoru alt gonna get some nice info there run all the way through preposition trying to find info for his team and wow with the shorty out of the alt so gets rude. the kill it looks like the gang did draw out rotations from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse to A though, so they will be able to get that plant down on B, if I'm not mistaken. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse getting ready for that retake, but I don't think they're aware of the hookah flank. That spike is going to go down. Gwester almost whips it, but does is able to secure the kill. Cloud, noticing the chamber up top, is left in a 1v5, and the gangy just flawlessly taking the round. It's just flawless after flawless. Exactly. And now, I don't know if our predictions are going to hold up here as the gang are just on an absolute roll and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse just not going to have the funds to keep up here. Going to have to take a save round going all in on the sheriffs and stingers. If there's anything I've learned from competitive play, though, it is to never count out the sheriffs or the stingers the amount of times that I have died and that I've seen people die to... Just a nasty stinger play is insane, so I wouldn't count them out just yet. The gangy is going to put that stack over towards A with the chamber lurking on B. <coughs> Excuse me. And pushing up for that showers control, spraying through the smoke is not able to find anything as the gangy is just waiting very deep, not even going into short, sending the dog up solo, is not able to spot anything, but Cloud is aware. Good timing on the nade is able to push a few people back. I find it interesting. They're using pistols and holding the range because that's not what you want to see right there. High rise getting the dink from above the box. Beautiful play. Pinpoint accuracy right there. Koma trying to take a gunfight. Trades. Doesn't get the trade actually. Just going to take a shot, but he can rotate out of Hold here. No problem. Yeah, but if you haven't noticed, um, two members of the gang you have walked up B long. I think Viper is about to take that contact, and once again taking that showers control. Cloud also taking contact, fighting for their life with a stinger. High rise, applying the pressure, walking in, is able to get the kill onto Cloud. Almost gets the second, but Koma trades it back with a shorty, and now it is a 1v4 for Cuddy. Can they pull it off? Yeah, they cannot, as that's a really hard place to be in Molotov behind you and the entire enemy team in front of you. Don't really have much of a choice there. Cuddy goes down. That's going to be Gangy going into the lead now, 3-2. to two. This is looking to be a pretty interesting half already. True, but Mickey Mouse Clubhouse does have the opportunity to turn this round in favor for them. Just because they have three alts ready, the Brimstone ult is really strong for that U-Haul control. And as I say that, they are looking... Uh, <laughs> Gwester is looking to push that A site. Not going to, sh right to uh, short though, instead they're all just fast taking shower rays, satcheling in and dodging the flash. Taking that fight does get one, e equal trades all around. Cuddy noticing contact on short and I think they're pretty sold on the A hit. Yeah, they get a one for one trade right there. Rotating around and gets another. This is looking... Spring through the smoke. Not great for Gangy. Now Spike is down over near A, but no one is knowing that on the enemy team. Cuddy beating this corner, holding strong Ant once again popping off, getting three this round already. Maybe even more to come, unless Cuddy wants to answer, but no, not gonna shut that one right down. 
two the two members of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse rotating in from B just to help their teammate Ant, but I think Ant is holding their own right now. As I say that, Maka <clears throat> is going to send that flash out, tapping the plant, baiting out that ult. Doomsie is going to get the kill. Foxy Lee trading out. And now it is a 1v2 for Fox Dooley. Just decide to take the TP, just hightail it over to the... Oh, oh my god, the dog the can dog. kill? Yeah, the dog does 30 damage. That's crazy. I rarely see that kill, though. Absolutely yeah, great play by Ruhu. Very often. Honestly, but yeah, good round for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And they are going to tie up the game 3-3. Three three. Send them good dog to work. the hounds right there with that one. Right, give the dog some good pets. I give the dog a snack. Wow, a snack <laughs> on the enemy. All right, let's take a look at the economy here. They used a lot of alts that round to try and keep themselves in this, and now Gangy does have the alt economy advantage here. They have three alts, and three very powerful alts, and yeah, there's one out of the gate just flushing out that U-Hole so they can rush down A, already doing major pressure here, and the showstopper being committed, gonna take one out, get the trade. Ant does lose that fight in showers to Mecha, and it is a player advantage for the gangy Wester getting that bomb down. But got vulnerable by something, I'm not sure exactly what. Mecha about to send their own dog out. High rise, good stall utility, does prevent the push into U Haul. Yeah, the gang is just trying to stall for as long as they can. Good utility usage so far. Line goes out. Doesn't find any picks though. Gets the trade. Maka gonna get two. Doomsday gonna fall down. It's a 1v2 situation. Has to go for the DPS. Doesn't get it. And that's gonna be the Gangy getting another point into the lead. Very back and forth here. Mm -hmm. I think we have a game on our hands, at least for this first one. Oh, we definitely Like do. I said, the Gangy, when you're when you when you got a gang, you're locked in. And the Gangy is in fact right looking very locked in at the moment. It's very fun to watch. But Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to be on another save. Bring up my yeah. earlier point, you know, never, never count out the sheriffs. Um, but it looks like they are just going to go for that aggressive ego play. Everyone stacking over towards B, which seems to be the correct read because that is you where the gang play, is trying to go. Play. Yeah, great read. Spike is going to be over there. If they can find Spike early and try and hold it down, it'd be an amazing play. Fox Sal is going to find one and going to find another. Actually, that is spiked down early. But can they go and try and get that one? They're going to send the Sky Dog out to do some scouting. They find a raise off an angle here. Fox Style moving up. They need to get this spike back in their hands, and they managed to do so. Mm. Here. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse just not aggressing, not doing too much, holding their positions, knowing they can retake together whenever possible. Ant is going to find those Sky Dogs. As it, that happens, the Gangy is going to get that plant down onto me, but Maka pushed up aggressive into CT. I think alone? No, they have Heaven support. Maka sends out the flash, does get the blind. Coma spraying it down, High Rise getting another. Just the spray down work is immaculate from the Gangy. The Gangy doing an amazing job right here. The lockdown is insane. There's two down on the side of the Gangy, but it doesn't matter as Coma finds two more, bringing them two points in the lead. Good phantom work. Good phantom work. Phantom is always good for spraying things down. And I like the proactive play by uh, Rohu to push up into CT. I don't think they would be expecting that, especially just because, you know, short-range guns, and they think, oh, they want to avoid the short-range, but... Uh, yeah, honestly, good proactivity from, from the side of the gangy to secure the round. Oh, yeah, they played amazingly there. And now Mickey Mouse Clubhouse does have the showstopper, but they need to stop the show the gangy are putting on right now. <laughs> there it is. They're going to start that off real hot here, going in loud and proud. But Coma is going to be sneaking in all the way here. Going to get behind enemy lines completely. Gonna send a flash out, get out, and try and go, but he gets oh. taken out by Ant. NT, honestly, NT. I saw the vision, um, and with Coma's death, the gang is gonna make that rotate over to B. Foxy Lee getting caught behind the trip, Doomsy and Rohu getting ready for the hit. I think they're very well equipped, and as I say that, Rohu does get the first kill onto Foxy Lee. Sends out that flash, Doomsy gets team flash, but it's all good because they are not in the sight. Gangy. 2v5. 
They got their work cut out for them. It's looking to be a 5v4 on the scoreline if they don't turn things around very soon. Quester rotating over and with a 3k and Cuddy getting that last fifth and final kill for the team. It's 4v5, just trading rounds back and forth. Not bad at all. Ant has been doing really well so far. 15 and 5 on the Brimstone. That's crazy. I, I, I love some... some uh, I love it when Brimstones in particular play as Duelist because it's just... When you think fragging agents, you don't really think... You don't think Brimstone. It's no. not the first that comes to mind. You think of the Reyna, you think of the Neon going fast, but it's just, it's my favorite thing because imagine you're on, you know, you're in this situation, you're just seeing an old man <laughs> fragging out of his mind. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's awesome. I love Brimmy. Love his combat sim. That's the one thing he can use to go aggressive and not falling for the decoy. Gonna hold this ankle strong through the smoke. Has to play very carefully though, cannot overextend here if he dies. That'd be a major loss to his team. They want to keep that alt going. Gwester moving up, pushing up A main. You see Doomsy holding down Hookah, holding down B long. Flash goes out and Ant falls. That's a powerful player out of the game on the side of the gangy. Taking that one out is absolutely key. Gengi once again putting a pause on the round. Things, yeah, it's just slowing down. Everyone's holding their positions. They are going to have some, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is going to have some rotates over to B. High Rise taking contact CT. Oh, Ooh. wow. Ooh, getting the headshot onto High Rise. Just obliterating the possibility for a B hit potentially. And at this point, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse already know they're not going A. The rotates are already inbound. They're ahead of the curve. Plant does go down. Foxy Lee holding from the short. Cuddy getting the kill. Coma trading it back. Just and a slight pause in the round as it's a 2v3 in favor of the gangy. So that stand still by the column cometh before the storm. He rotates back around. Has to try and take this angle. Teammate has him covered. Needs to push up. Doesn't get one. Need to get the trade, but Coma's going to get two for one little push. And a 4k to end the round. 6v4, the gangy is leading by two. We don't have too much left in the half. Yeah, I saw Doomsy by an Odin at one point, but they keep switching it out. Kind of disappointed I would have loved to see some Odin gameplay. How often do you see a Cypher with an Odin? Not often enough. <laughs> Not exactly. often enough. And now, looking at the alt scoreline, I'd like to see Mickey Mouse have Clubhouse try and bring some of these alts out sooner than later, as we only have two more rounds left. Mm, yep. The gangy taking that fast showers control and once again, not even caring that last round they they faced two flash agents and died in showers. They they don't care, they're just taking that showers control over and over again. Maka and High Rise taking that showers control in response and having to give it up Quester walking up short, baiting out the right cipher here. cages. They get all so so much info for the side of the gangy right now, but I don't think it's enough as the majority of players are on a for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And yeah, most of them are pushing A, which is a little bit interesting. Three of them are, it looks like it's gonna rotate over to a B push though. Now Cuddy, all he has is a classic in hand. Fox Al finding one, Fox Fowl finding two, Cuddy finding one, Mackie finding another. It is down to a four V2 for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Not looking good. Not looking good at all, but I do like, oh, as a, <laughs> excuse me, Foxy Lee. Putting down the trip at the exact right time, just setting up uh, Gwester to get those last two kills. I was going to say, I like the uh, the fake from uh, from Maka for the side of the gangy. It was just the sky solo on A, sending out their utility, and the rotates were already coming in. Right here. So honestly, the timing was really good. Um, yeah, honestly, I. I right here. The gangies, they seem to have a playbook, kind of. They do. They are very composed. They have a lot of plays that they seem to be running through. But now, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they seem to play good, clean Valor right here. They have four alts on the board. We want to start seeing them. There's the Viper Pit shutting off that A cross. And walking up, once again getting aggressive, but is punished by Fox D. Lee. I'm not sure if they're aware of the Viper. Nope. Cuddy does get the trade onto their teammate and Koma taking in U-Haul after High Rise finds the raise Elt kill. 
Wester starting to plant does kill Doomsie in the meantime. Coma is blind, can't see a thing, but they know the Viper is somewhere around here. One so does their teammate Cuddy alone in a 1v1v4, and they just no. they just can't do it. They yeah, the game closes out the half. 8-4. Eight 8-4 four. Eight four is not bad with how close that was looking for a, quite a while. 8-4. It's going to be a significant lead going into this half. And now we just have to see if the gangy has the stuff on the attack as well. Because some people say, some people might say, defending is the easy part. They have to approach you. They have to come to you. It's always trying to play that attack that you have to come in with a little bit more of a decisive plan. Right. But also, four rounds on defense bind is not bad by any means. No. So. And if you know anything about the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, you know that they probably have a special tool that can help them later. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It looks like that tool is a spike. <laughs> exactly. And they're going to try and take that tool planet on the site. Coma's rushing in. The gang are going in. High Rise finding a one. Looking for another as well. And peeking around the corner. Going in with a frenzy. Can play very aggressive. The grenade's going to flush them out. Moving in even further. Going to have to run all the way back home here. Cuddy in the corner. Doesn't have a good angle, but they're looking the wrong way. If he pushes now, he's going to have an amazing shot, but no, it gets found out, taken out by Foxtel, and Coma taking one out as well. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse falling to ruin as High Rise finds another, and Coma ends it. Flawless what start from hole. the gangy. What a hole from the gangy. I will keep saying it over and over. Locked in. That was my <laughs> that was my prediction. And as, it, as that goes on, Cuddy is going to call that timeout for the side of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So far, beautiful work from, from both teams, to be honest. Yeah. Both teams have been playing pretty well. Both teams playing very well, but the gangy bring out just a little bit of higher caliber gameplay I'm seeing. Like they look like they've had a little bit more plays to run through, right? They prepared a little bit more, I think, for this event. Maybe. It could also just be a team synergy thing. I'm not could sure. Be. But, um... But just, I, we've seen so many combos as well, though. Like, there's yeah. a lot more, like, teamwork going on when I see yeah. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Definitely. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing. They have cohesion as well. They have good yeah. synergy. Totally. But I don't see, like, I'm going to use this alt and go in, use this flashy while you chase them down. Right. The things I'm seeing from um, from the gangy. Right. Yeah, the gangy, they, they strike me as a very aggressive team, very much... Mm -hmm. um, I said earlier, proactive, proactive, aggressive, um, kind of just not really respecting Mickey Mouse Clubhouse at all, not giving them that sort of, um, not being as wary of them as maybe they should be, but it does no work breathing out in room. their, f yeah, exactly, no breathing room, but it works out in their favor. They they know they have the, uh, the skill and the cohesion to pull it off. Yeah, so far it's working out for them very well. Yeah, I think they're gaining confidence as time goes on as well. You know, when you're this far ahead, when you're five rounds ahead, you start thinking, you know, maybe I can go for that risky push. And it's a gamble, yeah. but sometimes those gambles pay off. Sometimes you double your money, you double it, double it, double it. But you just got to hope that <laughs> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse can try and get them to not win this time. Maka moving in, getting one, looking for another, just clean with these Guardian Gamer shots. Getting another in the corner, it's already whittled down to one, wow. and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Not going to have much of a house after this one. Yeah, their, their house burned down. Um, they got to take out the, 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 the Clubhouse insurance. And just, like, just like that, they look so much further ahead. Like, just after two rounds, there's 8-4, you're like, it's clean, you know, 9-4, yeah. okay, if they win the next round, it's only four rounds, yeah. and now, with this 10th round in the bag, all they need is three rounds, you know, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse needs double that, they need six rounds, mm -hmm. just to equal it. Right, I, honestly, I loved the hold from the gangy last round, it was so, like, it was like a strong chain, you know, as I say that, Cloud is gonna get that. <clears throat> is going to peek into Foxy Lee's operator. Does get taken down. I love the uh, the setup flash though from Rohu. Foxy Lee is going to get tagged by that cipher cam, but it's not much of an issue. They're just going to tuck into pocket, pull it off, watching that long angle. But little do I they know the that Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is actually making their way slowly up towards Hookah. And I'm not sure if anyone is watching that right now. Ah, uh, I think the same operator is watching 
both sides. You can easily rotate to each right now. True. It's not a great position to be in though. Maka covering that hooker really cleanly and that, almost a clat right there. Just barely not. Vox style getting one. And two are left on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. You know, the round three operates just so hard to play against. You just don't have any range to try and play against that. Yeah. Good dodge of the flash as well. Yeah, and the Gengi already has the uh, rotations over. <coughs> Koma is with, on the site with their teammates. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, last two remaining members in a 2v5, do decide to take that TP over towards A, but little do they know. High Rise is on their flank. Gwester is holding their exit. High Rise satcheling up, spraying down, and just another, another flawless round for the gang. I swear this is like the third round that we've seen, third or fourth flawless round that we've seen from them. I could be yeah. wrong, but there's been a lot. It's to an, enough to the point where like it's been very memorable, you know, like it sticks in your mind. Yeah, it's been an absolute great time from the gangy. They've just had so many clippable moments. Right? Yeah. That's what I'd like to call them. Just just great plays. And I'm excited to see what they do. It's just a joy to yeah. see them operate in their environment here. As for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they're gonna make a mad dash for this A site. It's do or die from need to start getting rounds. And they need to start getting them quick. Quester is deciding. That there's a common theme here of the Brimstone players taking showers control aggressive. I like it. I respect it. I like it a lot. High Rise is going to trade that utility, a bird for a nade, but luckily uh, no one from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is pushed up to that U-Haul Gwester, taking, uh, taking themselves back to the A site giving him a charge control. Trades are going back and forth. Foxy Lee from Heaven does find a pick with the operator onto Cuddy. Maka finding the pick onto Doomsy. That is bombed down. Rohu and Ant getting their own kills, actually bringing it to wow. a 2v1 in favor of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Just like that is flipped on a dime, and I know he doesn't want to lose this op. He's going to fight to his last days are up. Gonna play very carefully over on this B side, but little does he know it's the double rotate. It's gonna be going right back over to A. That's gonna be a much harder site to approach with this AWP. Yeah, honestly, any 1vx situation with AWP is tricky just because, well, you know, if you get double swung, like that's, unless you collab them by some miracle, you're, that's kind of it. And I like this positioning from, from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. They must be aware that Foxy Lee, I think they're looking towards heaven, but no, Foxy Lee is actually coming out towards CT. Slowly checking, looks toward triple a little too late, and swings out, gets the f kill and the fifth round for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. They could have a way back into this game. I think they do, and they gave him the op as well. I think he can buy one right back if he wants, but he's going to be on like zero cash if he chooses to do that. They need to yeah. keep up the wins, and I think... Not, not the brimstone operator for Ant. Yeah, it's, I think he could do it. If it was anyone on this team that's good at opping, I have a feeling Ant would oh, be yeah. the one. This is so silly. I love it. This is my favorite. The, <laughs> the substance that I've seen in this if for a BO1 is crazy. It's so cool. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse are going to go for a little bit of a default. Making contact with High Rise on A. It's trading nades, sending in a bird, but luckily no kill is found. Rohu just healing up his teammate for that future fight. Foxy, meanwhile, on B, does Ooh. find that pick onto Cuddy. Clean work. Clean work. And they have to be aware. Hookah has, does have some presence in it. Trying their best, fighting for their life. Uh, whiffing the op shots. This is, this is, a. Uh, they're, oh my, wow, sorry. That was not the time to whiff those shots. <laughs> 21 HP, he's got a few more left in him. One more bullet. Koma gets three though, and yeah, cleans okay. it up for the team, putting him five to 12. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I think I got flashed as well. <laughs> I, I might have gone team flash because I sort of just lost no, all the words in my brain. That anyways. Was absolutely insane. You missing those shots on Fox style. That was that was risky. That was a scary yeah. moment. But it keeps the up, keeps his life, yeah. and keeps his team in this right now. They're looking really, really good. Yeah, I just like to shout out Maka for the side of the gangy. Uh, I think I saw they had like somewhere between 12 and like 14 assists, which is just insane, and single digit deaths, so the impact is insane. I love that. Meanwhile... Koma in a really cheeky spot here. Oh, Jets one. 
I think he needs to ult out of here. No, he has the TP set up. That's a good reposition. Gets oh, one, gets out. They're already at a major advantage here. Right, Gwester, once again, uh, for the umpteenth time this game, the Brimstone is pushed into showers. I feel like a broken record. Very cleanly guy. <laughs> Doomsy and... Ro and um, yeah, Doomsy taking contact. Gwester still pushed up showers. Just find the, the pick onto Ant, who I believe is the main fragger for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It is a 3v5. This may be it for Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, unless they can work some magic, get that 3v5 action going. You know, it's and it be may be possible, it's but possible. I'm not sure if they're aware of the flank from uh, from showers. If you notice, the raise is, is, is going. Yeah, oh. and Como as well, the double flank. Yeah, but now the site's kind of open here. All that's left is one, and now they're going to have to try and attack this A site. <laughs> right, yeah. 3v4, definitely much more doable. Getting Doomsy getting that plan down. Rohu does take contact, is kind of alone, sends out that flash, blinds both, but unfortunately whips. And it, just like that, the gangy light up the kill feed, get three in a row, high rise getting on that bomb, defusing. And they get yeah. the game as That's well, it. and this is our best of one, so congrats to the gangy for winning this one out. I mean, look at that, it was a hard fought victory, but they really found their flow by the end of that half. They got into that flow, so they got into the momentum, and from there, it was just snowballing all the way down the yeah. hill. Honestly, not bad at all. Not a bad showing at all. I know, unfortunately, our predictions were wrong. Uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse did not take home the W, but that's okay because in return, we got some really good gangy gameplay. They had a really strong <laughs> start, though. We cannot forget that. Yeah. It was really back and forth there up until the end, you know, once the round swapped. I think that the gangy really found their footing. Totally. Um, I saw a lot of really, really good B-site holds. A-site was good too, but particularly, I think there were like two or three rounds where it was just, oh, they're executing B, and the next thing you know, you blink, and it's just three or more members of gang. You're on site, backing each other up, just mowing down the opposition. Yeah. It was such, it was so, it, it's kind of, I want to say it's like the, the kind of like support and cohesion you get from that you'd see in like, you know, professional, professional Valorant, mm -hmm. which... Yeah, it was, it was really obviously, good. Obviously, yeah, not the same, but, like, it, it was pretty close to that. Honestly, I liked it the a lot. The seeds are there. Yeah, the seeds are there. The <laughs> potential is there. And for a best exactly. of one, um, the the strats that were coming out... Um, it was crazy, yeah. yeah. it was I good. Once, I feel like it was kind of... Their fate was sealed as soon as that chamber got an op in his hands. He just honestly, had, like, yeah. two really strong rounds, of course. We saw... A little bit of a mess here around there later on, but his team stepped up to the plate to manage to hold that one down. But overall, an amazing first round. Congrats to the gangy for taking the first win. But that's not all we have in store today. We have more Valorant coming at you very soon, but we're going to throw it to a very quick break and then be right back for round two.